Hi, I'm Damon Weaver, and this is my protege, Jalen Mitchell. And we're at the Disney Dreamers Academy with Steve Harvey to get some good tips for our school. What do you, how do you think it's going to go today? I think it's going to go very well, like always, and it's going to go. It's going to be a really good show. I think it's going to be an awesome show. Good evening, Dreamers Class of 2010. I'm thrilled to welcome you to Walt Disney World. This is the third year that we've had the privilege of hosting the Dreamers Academy with Steve Harvey. Three years in a row. I think this makes it official. This is now a tradition. Okay. And one that, and one that we are very proud of. And Dreamers, in addition to being a tradition, this is also a journey. It's a journey that began at home in your community when somebody cared enough to place you among the nearly 3,000 candidates for this class. Yeah. It's a journey that progressed when you were selected to be among the 100 talented and promising members of this class. I believe a dream is a wish your heart makes. And that's not just the title of a popular Disney song. It's really true. Dreams come from deep down within our hearts. And because of that, they fuel us with passion and drive and commitment to achieve them. Making those dreams come true, though, can sometimes be challenging. Walt Disney's approach was a formula he called the four C's. You'll hear a lot about the four C's this weekend. And here is what they stand for. Curiosity, confidence, courage, and constancy. And Walt believed that the greatest of these C's was confidence. In other words, when you believe in something, believe in it all the way with everything that you've got. I just wanted to give my personal congratulations to you on being selected for the Academy's Class of 2010. <laughs> you know, the thing this year is you have the power and you do. I'm one of those people, I am a total example of believing in the power of myself. So that's, you know, one of those things my mom and dad put into me. Each of you has that same unique power to achieve great things. First and foremost, life-changing power comes from where? From above. Baby, we can't do nothing without God, right? The power comes from a personal commitment to opening yourself to the possibilities in front of you. Now, when you leave yourself open to dream great things, great things can find their way to you. I want you to dare to dream, dare to dream bigger, and dare to dream more powerful, all right? Because you have it inside of you. We want to welcome everybody to G uh, Disney Dreamers Academy. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, congratulations on being selected. You know, you were, you were picked out over 4,000 people. So, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I always look at situations like this, you know, when, uh, whenever I'm in a contest or, or selective process, I always think about the fact, okay, how was it me? Yeah. You get four to 5,000 letters that come in, yeah. and you gotta ask yourself at one point, you know, you can't be stupid now. You gotta really check yourself and say, hey, okay, why me? Of the 4,000 people, why me? The first thing I tell you is it's this thing that God passes out. It's called favor. It's just called favor. And sometimes God has a special plan for certain people and he's trying to get it implemented in your life and he needs your attention. So he allows special things to happen to you at certain points in your life. And these are the points that are called pivotal moments or turning moments in your life. And you got to make note of these things because they're going to happen throughout your life. This is just one of the things, you know. Another pivotal moment was you ended up with the parents you ended up with or the guardian that you ended up with. You know, maybe your parent wasn't all this, but maybe the person you ended up with, maybe the grandmother or the aunt or the foster care program you in. That could be the pivotal point. It's a lot of turning points in your life. This could just be one of them right here. So please don't overlook that while you're sitting in your seat tripping, walking around here looking at Disney. Ooh, right. these is nice. Ooh, these rides is nice. My airplane ticket is nice. My, my room is nice. No, think about the real part behind that. That there was 
an amazing amount of favor shown to 100 kids out of 5,000 kids. So don't, you know, don't sleep on that right there. It's your dream that propels you to greatness. It's what you dream about. It's what you lay awake at night thinking about. It's the stuff that's hidden in your heart that you don't even tell anybody. But it's that dream, man. I dreamed of one day being on TV. And you know, I was a kid in the 60s, so you know what I'm saying? I know none of you were even a concept in the 60s, but right, you know, in right. 1966, Bill Cosby was the first African-American on TV. I decided then I was gonna be on TV. I messed up and I told that to somebody. Well, you know, you only see one African-American on TV on a show called I Spy, and then you come to school and you make the grand announcement, I'm gonna be on TV. Right. That don't go over too well, you know. <laughs> that gets shot down real quick. So that dream of mine became one of those hidden dreams. I quit telling people, because everybody I told it to was shooting it down. Yeah. How you gonna be on TV? You know anybody on TV? You, you know anybody from this neighborhood on TV? No, but I just saw Bill Cosby, so that's what I wanna do. And then as I got a little bit older, you know, I heard Richard Pryor and all this here, and I was kind of funny, but I was funny, kind of quiet to myself. I used to stand in the mirror all the time on the way to school, just talking to myself, making faces. My mother thought I was going crazy. She took me to church, had me prayed for her, all this here. In the Dreamers Academy fashion, stand to your feet. Welcome, with Meg, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> here. Now it's time to believe it. Dreams do come true. Is that right, Mickey? <laughs> All right. Disney's Dreamers class of 2010. Welcome to the Academy. <laughs> We had a great time watching the introduction. What do you think about the introduction? I think it's a good place to be right now. I'm Damon Weaver and this is Jalen Mitchell. And now back to the KCTV News Desk. Exactly.